This video might be controversial. I'm a big time cloud code user. It's shaped real features for production customers from hairy refactors to deep test repairs across large code bases. So finding my third party workflows suddenly constrained genuinely took me aback. In this video, I am going to explain what changed, why it matters and how we can have serious AI safety and developer freedom at the same time. I went on to the X and saw this tweet from this Anthropic employee, Tarek. What has happened is that Anthropic has tightened how consumer Claude Pro Max subscriptions can be used. If you have been piping those subs through third party harnesses or agent CLIs to run autonomous coding loops, that door is now effectively closed. Subscription usage is bound to cloud code. If you want the same kind of automation in other tools, the supported path is the metered API. Some accounts that got auto flagged during the rollout were restored, but the overall restriction stands. Let's be fair. Safety isn't optional, we all know that. Unsupported wrappers can create unusual traffic without the telemetry providers rely on to detect misuse. Investigate bans and enforce rate limits, we all know that. When a wrapper glitches, users often blame the model, not the harness, which undermines trust. And there is this Buffett problem, flat rate subscription attached to automated agent loops can chew through workloads that belong on metered pricing. A managed client cloud code in this case gives the vendor that sandboxing, rate limit control and policy hooks to keep things safe and predictable. Most teams have invested in one workflow, many models. A single CLI or IDE agent that can speak cloud, codex, Gemini, open models, you name it. Breaking subscription Portability means more tool sprawl, more friction and a higher risk of lock-in, even if that's not the intent. It slows down experiment like A-B testing and migrations. So what should be a quick config change becomes a process change. That matters when shipping to production under deadline. Now, this is not a brand new tension by the way. We already have seen how opaque or shifting limits can frustrate heavy users of agentic coding tools. Long context, long running work is genuinely expensive. Subscriptions promise predictability when those collide limits move and users feel blindsided. Clear communication and transparent gaps reduce that pain. Now there is one more angle I really, really want to touch. And that is the deep seek angle. Now, last year in January, when deep seek announced their model, with reinforcement learning, everything just simply broke. Now, again, the rumor is, and it's a credible chatter by the way, that DeepSeek is preparing a V4 model focused on coding. Potentially, you know, end of January to mid February, dates could change. Internal tests, which are still unverified, suggest it could outperform leading models on very long code prompts, especially Cloud Opus 4.5. If that lands with strong developer meaningful benchmark, you can expect demand for interoperable tooling to spike again because teams will want to try it out without rebuilding their workflow. Treat it as rumor until the numbers are public, but it's a reminder. The coding model wars are heating up and agility will matter. OpenAI is already opening up to other tooling, by the way, the codex and stuff. You can simply check out their website and you will know that OpenAI is just, you know, rushing to fill that gap. But anyway, I think we need to fi find a practical middle path because at the end of the day, it's Anthropic's tool, their rules. But there are few and safety is important, no doubt about that. Let's be real, let's be transparent and fair. But I think how we can keep this, you know, production grade, the safety, I mean, while preserving developers agency. Well, first and foremost, make it explicit that consumer subs are for human in the loop work, offer a reasonably priced agent tier for third party tooling with mandatory telemetry, rate limit contracts, and abuse detection hooks. 
this creates a supported lane for automation outside the first party client then they should publish a provider neutral spec for client auth event logging throttling sandbox signal and prompt injection defenses let vetted external CLIs operate with vendor visibility without forcing devs into a single proprietary environment. Lean into model agnostic SDK and adapter. So swapping between, let's say, Claude or maybe, you know, Codex or maybe Gemini or even this, you know, tool like OpenCode and various others or even DeepSeek, you know, V4 or open model is a should be a configuration change not a rewrite of your whole pipeline. And I think they should be communicating session caps, reset windows, and model specific consumption plainly. Surprises erode trust. Clear guardrails help teams plan against agent workload responsibly. Now, I keep cloud code for deep refactor still and long contact tasks where the managed client stability helps. I run autonomous loops that need portability through a model agnostic CLI on metered APIs. And that is how I am working. If DeepSeek V4 ships, I will run a like for like benchmark, some same repos, same tasks, same tests, and I will also be doing videos on it on the channel. So decisions are based on evidence, not hype. And that is how, you know, I work. And I believe that that is fair for not only myself, for my viewers, and subscribers, but also for my customers uh, who I provide AI consultancy to. And I'm a huge proponent of AI safety. I think that should not be an afterthought developer, but at the same time, developer choice must be real. The platforms that win 2026 will be safe by design and portable by default. So can, so the teams can move fast and responsibly. And that is I think important and let me reiterate AI safety is not negotiable, uh, but neither is the developer choice. The way forward is to treat both as first class requirements and operationalize them, you know, because that is, I believe good for everyone. So I think that uh, Anthropic might change their mind. I don't know, but I'm more than sure because, you know, everyone wants to win. And I think they want to do the right thing too, that, you know, uh, everyone would be safe by design, portable by default. That is my mantra. Hopefully that gels, but I'm very keen to hear your thoughts. So just uh, please post them in the comment, especially let me know if you are impacted by this change from Anthropic and what you are doing as an alternative. That's it. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as membership is what keeps the lights on. And I'm very, very grateful for all the new and existing members. Please also follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates without any hype. Thank you for all the support.